All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to uh, install Dark Stat and get it up and running. And now I'm just using a uh, Atomic Pie, but you can use a Raspberry Pi or basically about any Linux machine to do this. Uh, so we need to go ahead and install this. So we'll just type in the following command here. <clears throat> and let that install then we need to edit the uh, config file and start the service and that'll be pretty much it then we can open up a web browser and go to uh, the web page so let me go ahead here and launch up a web browser so we'll have it so now what we need to do is we need to open up the uh, config file. <coughs> Just like such. Now what we need to do is we'll change this no to a yes to uh, start the service so it will use the uh, config we're going to be using etho 0 but on the atomic pi let me go back here it's going to be this here so let's see if we can copy that, open this back up, and paste. All right. <clears throat> so now we can go ahead and go down here. We need to remove the hash from that guy and that guy and this one and this one now what we need to do here is remove this and we're going to add in 192.168.0.108 whatever the IP address is so this is the IP address of my uh, Pi then we need to change this to match my router so we'll just do a zero one and other than that that's pretty much it so we can do a control x y and enter to save we'll clear that then let's start the uh program here so back up here <clears throat> so let's go ahead here and do that so now we have the following so we'll just click start so now what we can do is pull up my browser uh, let me find it here and let me see if it'll work here. All right, another thing I went ahead and did, I changed the port number from 666 to 8080. Some people might not like that, so I just went ahead and changed it. And we'll just exit then obviously restart the service or start the service but I just went ahead and restarted it so anyway we go to the uh, IP address of the uh, Atomic Pi port 8080 and as you can see here we have some uh, graphs going on here 
and our host. And then we have the home page for the uh, software itself. But uh, here we go. And you can have it set on automatic. Just like such. And now it's basically real time. So if we uh, pull up here. Let's see here. <clears throat> Got a little stuff going on, but we can go ahead here and uh, do an upgrade. And that should get things moving a little. There we go. Now we're talking. So uh, that's pretty much it of how to uh, set this up. Not very hard. Uh, I'll throw a link in the description to my website for some more information and the commands and stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe. And uh, see you on the next one.